Guys, welcome to a video that I have been waiting so long to make. This is the day we've all been waiting for, the day that I get to go over season two of my Gymshark slash Strength Collective slash Steve Cook line. <laughs> Now this line has been a long time in the making. If you guys have been around for a while, then you would have known I released my season one line with Gymshark back in Australia, I think two years ago now. So it's been a while. I knew ever since I did that line that I wanted to create more of a gym line. So I would say that line is more of a lifestyle line, a lot more sweats, heavy material, but it was made less for performance and more just for active lifestyle stuff. But I wanted to create an entire line that was for performance. So here we have the Steve Cook Strength Collective line. The reason we went with Strength Collective, obviously SC, Steve Cook, Strength Collective, that's kind of one part of it. But I also think it's about being bigger than just me. I don't want just my name to be on clothing. I wanted to have a bigger meaning that can resonate with a bunch of people. So I was really excited talking to Gymshark and I brought up the idea of, hey, maybe we can just call it the Strength Collective line and, and kind of tie in SC with my name, if that works with you guys. And they love that idea. So this line kind of came about because I wanted there to be something that Gymshark kind of hadn't done. And I would say some of the times, like my fabrics that I like wearing are a little bit different. They're a blend of things. They gave me the creative control to come up with the designs, the fits, the styles. And I'm gonna be going over all of this with you guys in this video right here, right now. So if you're not subscribed, probably wanna do so right now. You can just right there in the bottom corner, just subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. All of this stuff will be launching online March 26. Set your calendars, put it on your hand, set it in your phone, do whatever you need to do to remind yourself because once this stuff goes, it goes. I had a lot of people with my first line with Gymshark, when it sold out, they thought I was gonna be coming back and I was just like, oh, no, sorry. Once it's sold out, it's sold out. It's kind of a way to keep things kind of fresh and limited. There's some differences between this line and my first line and then there's some similarities. The difference is obviously the colors. My first line was a lot more pastels. Really the only color that's similar is black. I kept that. It's my favorite color to wear. So obviously I kept that in this line, but we went a lot more bright and bold with this line with the orange, the white, wanting to make sure this one was loud. It stood out. This strength collective line is all about three things, purpose, power, and passion. When we talk about strength, those are really the things you need. You know, you need to have purpose in your life to be bold, to be strong. You need to have power. That can come from your training. That can come from your state of mind, but a place of like, hey, I, I own this. I have power over myself. I have power over my actions. And then, you know, you have passion. Every day, if you don't wake up with passion, you are not living life, in my opinion, to the fullest. So those are the kind of the three pillars of this collection. All right, so my inspiration for this line came from a lot of the streetwear that I've seen. You know, I'm a big fan of off-white shoes. I'm a big fan of streetwear culture. And I wanted this line to kind of have some of that while still maintaining a fresh gym fitness apparel that you would be training in for high performance. So that's kind of where a lot of these pieces came from. They look cool. A lot of what we've put on them is very in trend right now, but also the fit on them is going to be more geared towards performance. On each and every single piece of the clothing, you'll find an orange tag. Now I did orange as really the staple color in this. Everything else is neutral. Black, white, gray. The camo and the orange are kind of the two louder elements of this line. Orange is just a color that I've loved for a long time. To me, it really symbolizes an energy, kind of that power aspect of things. You see orange, it's a very strong color. And I think it looks just really good when paired with more neutral whites, blacks, and grays. It just pops and I think it looks very clean. So I wanted to do that orange and I think with this line it works really well. Even with the camo, it looks really good. It just has that pop to it. Now, with every orange tag, you'll see a coordinate. That little piece there is my hometown, Boise, Idaho. Shout out to Boise, Idaho. We're putting you on the map, literally. 
because it's a coordinate. You see that? Most of the pieces also have this Roman numeral number. That would be 1984. Very great year. I was born that year. So we have 1984, last set, best set, engineered in England, Gymshark season two. The beauty of it is, is that SC stands for Strength Collective and also Steve Cook. So it was a way of kind of making it less about me, more about this community as a whole, this Strength Collective. And I think that that's something that Gymshark hasn't really done before. They've had athlete lines, but I think this could be something that a lot of people rally behind as a community. It really is about a community, about supporting one another when they're weak and helping them out and get you know stronger mentally, physically, spiritually. It's very multifaceted. A lot of inspiration came from people that I draw inspiration from on a daily basis. So pretty cool in that element that you know it's a community aspect. Getting into the line, you know what? I'm gonna start with the hats because I'm really excited about the hat. We have two hats. We have the black and the white. They're identical in terms of what they have on them. I love the fit because it's more of an A-frame type. Like I have really wide head, so for me, this is the most important fit. Now, you can see the mesh in the back. I like this because if you ever train in a hat, you get it really, really, really sweaty. So that mesh back is really important to me as a lot of my hats that I wear training have that mesh back. This is true to that. So I like that this is me. This is me to a T. When I put this on, I'm like, yes, I would go out and I would buy that hat. The SC and rubber on the front, it's just a very clean fit. It's very, very clean, very simple. And then you have obviously the material on the hats. It's going to be washable. The white is obviously gonna be hard to keep clean. I realize that, even the black, because they're so just basic, they're sleek. They're gonna go with almost every single thing you wear that you have in your closet. If you wanna wear a hat when you're training or when you're outside running or whatever it is, this is the hat that I would wanna wear training. So we have it in white and black. I put it on my story last night, which one people like better. And it was almost 50-50. I think black had the slight edge, which I'd probably give it to black as well, but that white just pops. So really excited that we have hats in this collection. Also in this collection, we have socks. First time that I've been able to do socks with Gymshark. Of course, we had to do the camo. Love the little orange stripe on the bottom. We have the SC and the Gymshark at the top. So just a cool sock to wear with it. And then we also have the same sock in black. Camo, kind of funky, kind of switch it up. I love funky socks. I wear funky socks all the time. So that's a way of just kind of keeping that true to myself. Talking about the camo, that's one part of the season one line that I wanted to bring into season two. I love camo, it's not a secret. This time, now we have the hybrid sleeveless tees. Now I did the camo in black, in white it's just solid. And I really like the fact that we did that because I think that this blends perfectly with the black. If we would have done it on here, it would have looked a little bit funky. So this one we kept just all white, but you can see both have the mesh backgrounds with the Strength Collective and my name on there. I love how that stands out. Again, everything we're doing in this line is bold, is powerful, and the front is simplistic. Wear it, rock it. It's a nice breathable material with that jersey on the back. Gymshark has done this fabric before, but never in combination with this mesh on the entire back. So this is the high hybrid sleeveless tee. I would wear it, you know, on an arm day, maybe a back day, or if I'm outside destroying the pickleball game. If you guys haven't seen the pickleball video, definitely go check that out. So we also have the same shirt in the short sleeve. So this is the hybrid short sleeve. Again, same material in the front, nice clean Gymshark on the back. It's that mesh material. The reason I wear a large in both of these is because I want this to be a little bit more snug. This is going to be a shirt that I'm wearing when I'm training. I'd like things to be a little bit more fitted in this. I'm a large. I also have an XL in this because I was a little bit between sizes, but I prefer the large. I'm six foot one, 215 pounds. I'm wearing actually an XL on this right now. And I just think it's a little bit too baggy around the stomach for me. I'd rather have things a little bit tighter if I'm gonna be working out in them. So I have them in both a large and an extra large because I wanted to see how it fit. And I would say definitely for me, I prefer if I'm gonna be training in it, a large, but that's gonna be kind of up to you. The fit is one of those things I wanted to talk about because I think in my last line, the fit was a little bit off. It was definitely geared to my body type, which is a longer torso. And it looked good on people that I think had similar body types, but this line is gonna be more uniform for everyone. Like I feel like this is a little bit more of a standard fit. I would say things run a little bit small, especially when it comes to the sweatshirts and we'll get into that later. But everything else is pretty much standard Gymshark sizes. I think Gymshark runs a little bit small in general compared to other US brands. I think the UK brands just across the board run a little bit smaller. But I will say all of these larges fit me. These larges fit me snug and then the extra larges fit me just 
just a little bit too loose in that waist. So take that for what it's worth. If you're, you know, my height, my size, and have a little bit bigger of a waist, you probably want to go an XL. Up next, we have our just our standard sleeveless tees. So the sleeveless tee, we did white, smoky gray, and black. That orange pops with every single color here. So very basic, just with that pop of orange. These are all large, and again, I like my shirts that I'm going to work out, and these are pretty snug. Like I wouldn't wear them if I'm just hanging out, but going to the gym, I'm a large. If you're going to wear them just to hang out, I'd go with an extra large. On the back, 1984, last at best set, kind of went over this, engineered in England, and then we have the vertical Steve Cook and Gymshark. I like how it's borderline on busy, but it's it's very clean in that the topography is all kind of the same, very minimal coloring, but it just looks, you know, almost like a sample. And that again, kind of is that off-white inspiration. I like the way that that looks. I love how this pops out with the white on it. And then this smoky gray has that black on it. This is a great shirt to do training in. A little bit different of a fabric. This one's a blend. So you don't have quite as much stretch as you would in this material, but I like the way that this one fits. A little bit less give, less stretch. Some people like that. I tend to, to switch it up. I kind of like how this one looks a little bit better. Um, if I'm working out in it, this one performs a little bit better. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys and, and which one is your favorite. I can't choose because it's like picking between children. You just love it all. So there we have our sleeveless, and then we have our short sleeve, and then our long sleeve. So this is gonna be basically the same thing in every single one of these. We have white, smoky gray, and black. So it's the exact same as the sleeveless. This is just the short sleeve. I like to rock these with the sweats. It's just an out and about look. If I'm gonna be training hardcore and I'm gonna be sweating a ton, I'm gonna go for more of the hybrid. But again, I think this looks really sharp, really fresh, especially in that white and black. And then this is just a nice change up, especially if I'm gonna wear the orange shorts. I love this with the orange shorts. Next up, we have the long sleeve t-shirt. Now, I really like the fact that we did a long sleeve t-shirt in this line. I think it's one of those things that looks super stylish. And with the long sleeve, we actually have included the last set, best set, the England, everything that we have on the back on the other ones, we've included on the sleeve. So all we did is we took pretty much this information and we got to do it down the sleeve. I love that. To me, it looks very military. It looks very detail oriented to have something down the sleeve here. And then it just sets this shirt apart from your other basic black, white, or gray type t-shirt. So we still have the Steve Cook Gymshark on the back, but again, that sleeve is kind of separating itself from the other two sleeveless and short sleeve in this line. So I love wearing these, the long sleeve, if it's, you know, fallout, spring, morning time, if I'm gonna be doing cardio in it, wanna sweat a little bit, but it's too warm for a sweatshirt. And I think there's something about a long sleeve that is a little bit more stylish than just your typical short sleeve. A long sleeve um, right now to me is very in style and very appropriate to wear either to the gym or just to out and about. So if I'm going to the movies, I know it's gonna be a little bit cold if I'm taking a flight, but I still want movement in that. Um, I'm gonna be wearing the long sleeve. So moving into the next piece, these sweatshirts. We have the orange hoodie and the black hoodie. Now I was inspired by a hoodie that I owned that had some differences from anything I'd ever seen with Gymshark. So first off, you can see the pocket. It's a different material. It's lightweight. It's a little bit more shiny, whereas the rest of the sweatshirt is that sweatshirt material. This material here, again, it speaks to that performance aspect of it. Also the drawstring here in the neck, you can see it's a bunch neck rather than just your standard sweatshirt that Gymshark might go with. This really, again, it's the same material that we have down here and it ties in together really nicely. So I love the color on this one. Um, I think that this, again, with black sweats, black shorts, I always rock black or the camo with this. This is the piece that's gonna be loud. On the back, you have the SC Strength Collective, Steve Cook, and then on the top, that's where we've put the coordinates on this one. This sweatshirt is going to run a little bit smaller. So I'm an extra large for sure in this sweatshirt. In fact, the extra large to me feels like a large. So keep that in mind when you guys are shopping and have this in your cart. Whatever size you wear in the shirts, I would go up a size in these two sweatshirts. Again, the black one's the same thing. Different material here and then around the neck. I love the way it feels. Um, it's lightweight. Obviously, we have the SC on the back, Steve Cook Strength Collective with the coordinates again. In. We did that on the hood. And then I wanted to keep the front just very simple. So it's very understated in the front, very clean. This one really, really pops, the orange. So I like to wear 
just the basic colors with this. You know, I'm never gonna go orange on orange. Maybe I would, I don't know. Maybe if I'm really feeling crazy, most likely gonna do the black or the white. Just keep it nice and clean with this being the pop of color on that. So again, the black, oh, I love how this looks matching with the black joggers. Even with the black shorts, this is just a great essential piece that isn't just a basic sweatshirt because it has the different material and the way we have done the neck on this, but it is very simplistic in that it looks clean. It's gonna be around in your closet for forever. Next piece we have is the overhead jacket. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And out of all of the pieces in the line, this one's the most asymmetrical. You know, it has the black sleeve, just the white sleeve on this side. It has the black pocket and you can see the SC on the bottom. I wanted to get a little bit funky with this. So we off-centered that. We still have coordinates on the bottom and then the little detail on the top. The last set, best set on the hood. It reminds me of what people would wear back in the day. Like when I grew up wrestling, you had sweatsuits to help you drop weight. Even if you go to the gym and you're sweaty and you put this on afterwards and you're driving home, this will keep you sweaty. So if you want to stay warm because of the material and the way it touches your skin, it's going to keep you warm. So if you get, if you want to go to the gym and just sweat a ton doing cardio, this is the piece you want to wear. It has the half zip hoodie. You have the pocket that goes all the way through. I'm a big fan of pockets going all the way through. I don't like pockets that just stop on the side. So I think, you know, this half zip is nice. It's easy to get on and off. We have Gymshark on the sleeve on this side. So this side's a little bit heavy in terms of details and the black where this one's just nice, clean, simple on that side. But definitely love this piece. The thing I wanted to make sure on my line this time is that the zippers are a little bit more heavy duty than Gymshark's normal zippers or even my last season. So the zippers on there can feel a little bit more firm. Next up, my pride and joy, the shorts. We have the woven shorts. These are my leg day shorts. These are kind of modeled after my all black shorts that I would wear every leg day for years. Similar length, maybe a little bit longer. Have the slit in the side for maximum leg room. Cause on those leg days, when you get that blood pumping in there, you're gonna need all the leg room you can get. Here we have on the back right leg, we have Steve Cook, Gymshark on there. And the waistband is different on the orange. I really like how that white pops on both pairs of these. I really like how the white pops on the orange. And then I really like how the white pops on the black with the orange accents on that. I think these shorts turned out a lot cooler than I could have even imagined. And I I love the material because it's so performance based. It's lightweight, it's gonna be easy to move in. So if you're doing hit cardio, if you're doing, you know, again, squats, if you're jumping around, if you're outside playing sports, this is the short for you. Again, these are gonna fit pretty true to size. I'm a large in most shorts and I really like the length on these. Next up, we have just a piece that I wanted to do for so long. So in the mesh shorts, we have the white and camo, both a little bit funky. So with the white, it's an asymmetrical short. Basically, we have the black on the backside, the pop of orange, the Steve Cook, the pop of orange there as well. The drawstrings in these, I really like how those turned out. You can wear them to the gym, I wear them to the gym, but you need to be careful because these shorts, being that they are mesh, they can snag a little bit easier. So if you're doing deadlifts in these, you know, it's a little bit more of a delicate material, but it looks great and to hang out in, watch Netflix, or to even, you know, do some light cardio in or upper body. I absolutely love these. And they're a little bit heavier than the woven shorts because I wanted to go with like that old school PE vibe. So for those of you in America or have seen like movies about high school, in PE you had the standard issue outfit. It was usually a cotton shirt with mesh shorts. So this kind of is a throwback to the days of basketball, of PE, and it's like that athletic short that every kid Kid that I grew up with had in their closet. I love how this turned out with the pops of orange in there. And the camo to me, it isn't crazy loud camo, but it's just, it's a cool understated camo with obviously two tones of gray, the white, and then a little bit of black in there. These are a little bit longer because they're more basketball PE inspired. They're gonna be a little bit longer, almost down to the knees, not quite. If I'm training in them, I'm gonna roll them up so I can see the quads, but I don't train as much in these as I would just hanging out, nice day. It's warm outside, I'm throwing these on as a lounge short. Last but not least, we have our jogger. Very similar to a lot of what Gymshark's done with their joggers. We have the Steve Cook, the SC, and the white, the matching white drawstrings, the Gymshark on the back, and then here we have a little bit more of the detail on the bottom. Again, just enough orange pop, coordinates on the Steve Cook Gymshark there. The tight bottom, I love tight bottom sweats. Obviously, these are super comfortable, but I also train in them. Today, I actually trained them and did back, so definitely, like, you know, if you're used to Gymshark's sweatpants, you're gonna know exactly how to make these work. These are a large, so I wear a large in the sweats. They're just tight enough on the thighs that um, if they were any tighter, um, I would have to go up a size. So I'm a large in these. And again, 
I have pretty big legs, so I would go with a large if you're right around my size. So heavier zipper, and then again, that drop crotch, just slightly dropped enough for the style aspect, but not too dropped that you can't perform in it. The thing I love about these, the thing actually I love about all this is seeing Morgan wear these. Morgan rocking these sweats, she looks 10 times better than I do in them. So something about seeing your girlfriend rock sweats with your name on it just it makes you feel fuzzy inside. So also the other accessories that we have, headband. You guys know me and my headbands. I absolutely love them. So seeing this turn out, I was just so thrilled. I love that the writing's on the side of the headband rather than straight on in the middle. And then the barrel bag. Wanted to do something a little bit different, this camo barrel bag. Now, a lot of people see this and they're wondering what they do with it. I love that it has a phone slot in it. And then it's designed really to put anything, you know, wet smelling clothes in there, your water bottle, a tub of protein. Most things that we put in our bags are around. So I thought that a barrel bag like that is something new. You can sling it over your shoulder. And then we also have the sling bag. Now the sling bag is something that is near and dear. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you guys know that I rock like that oversized fanny pack sling bag almost every single day to the gym. So this being camo, it just screamed my name and my style. So had to do that for the line. So two pieces in there that are really going to be gym accessory pieces. You can throw your straps in, you can throw your weight belt in, you know, anything and everything you need basically if it's not going to be a full size bag. The accessories just turned out awesome in this line and I really think it just adds that cherry on top to everything. I'm excited to start seeing people wearing it. I'm going to be heading off to London here and hopefully doing this pop-up if coronavirus doesn't happen to just run rampant. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And also I'm going to be doing a Q&A on my Instagram before this collection drops, which is going to be March 26th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. I memorized all those times. If you're in Australia, that's gonna be early morning, so just definitely set your alarm to get on top of that because these pieces are so limited that when they go, you're not gonna get them back. So best of luck to you guys, and hopefully you guys like them. If you guys really do like them and they do sell out, I'm sure we'll try to do a season three. So that's gonna be on you guys, how much you guys like this, but I appreciate it. And the next time we talk about this line, hopefully, It'll be coming from England at the pop-up.